Drop the knife. Drop the knife, my friend. Drop the knife. Okay, come out. Come out. All right, stand, stand still. Turn round. Turn round. All right, knee on the floor. Knee on the floor. Okay, hands behind your back. Okay. Echo mic. Sorry? Echo mic 2 1. I've got the man red dotted. Um, he's dropped the knife outside number 79. Ambulance are on scene. There's a male lying on the ground by the garages. Come and sit down and I'll look at your head and your arm. No, I don't want you to touch him, mate. But you just said to get somebody. I'm oh, somebody. No, everybody, everybody else is busy. I'm as good as it gets, all right? So either sit down. No, I don't want you to touch him, mate. Well, I don't want you want your injury treated? No. Not by you, no. Jamie, listen carefully. It's now 20 past eight. I'm further arresting you for murder. You're still under caution. I do not have to say anything. You may have a defense, okay? You're still under caution. You've, you've now been arrested for murder, further arrested for murder. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. I'm very happy about that. Killing people is not always a bad thing. Jamie Crosby killed father of three, Dean Allsop by stabbing him 17 times in April last year after Mr Allsop's son Mikey revved the engine. Crosby, aged 48, was also found guilty of the wounding with intent of two women. Mr Allsop's partner Louise Newall and friend and neighbour Karen Johnson who had come out to help Norfolk Police said. But he was cleared of two counts of attempted murder at Norwich Crown Court after the incident in Forbes Street, St Andrew. Senior Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Phil Gray from the Norfolk and Suffolk Major Investigation Team said this was a cold-blooded attack by a man intent on causing extreme harm to others. Dean suffered 17 stab wounds to his body, some of which were inflicted whilst he was laying on the ground, face down and motionless. Crosby's savage attack didn't stop there. He stabbed two people who had come to help Dean, one suffering an arterial bleed to her neck. Crosby is an extremely violent man who has no place in society and we welcome the jury's verdict today. He added that the incident had striking similarities to a previous altercation in 2018 when Crosby threatened Mr Allsop with a knife and a hammer after his neighbour put some rubbish in his wheelie bin. Video shows Crosby with blood on his hands and face declining medical help from police officers. He kneels to the ground before being handcuffed. Mr Allsop was pronounced dead at the scene at 8.18pm on April 14th last year. Andrew Jackson prosecuting said that Crosby told officers who arrested him two minutes later on suspicion of murder, that makes me happy, that's a good thing, that's the best news I've ever heard. Video shows him adding, killing people is not always a bad thing. In a statement released through the police, Mr Allsop's partner Louise Newall said, I cannot put into words how this has affected our whole family. My children have lost their hero and I have lost my chosen person, the person I chose to spend the rest of my life with. My best friend, soulmate, my first love. Our lives will never be the same without Dean, but we will continue to keep his memory alive. Crossbay will be sentenced at a later date and I'll make sure to update you with that one, but make sure you like, comment, subscribe, check back for more, yeah? Peace.